I run the I run the youth programs and the men's programs there. And unfortunately, beginning September first, um, those programs won't be available anymore at our agents. My name is Mike Wynn, and I'm a gay Vietnamese American. Um, my sexuality has always been a struggle for me. Uh, growing up in a very conservative Vietnamese family was very hard, and it didn't, it wasn't, it didn't facilitate um, an environment for me to talk about my feelings or my relationships or sex or even coming out to my family. It wasn't surprising that all this stuff led to, you know, my early 20s. I went out and I was binge drinking, I was using drugs, I was meeting guys at bars to find that sense of belonging or that sense of love. It wasn't until I got involved with the API Wellness Center through a program here um, that I started to pick myself back up and I started to build my self-esteem. I just grew in this pipeline and uh, became a staff member and now I'm a, a program coordinator here and I run the very programs that I was involved in about, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. And when we felt, found out we were losing those monies, we were ultimately losing that space. And so we mobilized and we created this advocacy campaign. Uh, personally, myself, I said, you're not going to give us money for our queer API youth, so then I'm going to fundraise for it. I ran for Mr. Gappa uh, through the Gay Asian Pacific Alliance um, on a platform of raising money for queer API youth and HIV AIDS prevention education. I actually ended up winning the title of Mr. Gappa, and um, with this title I will be working with Ms. Gappa, and we have a campaign this year for our reign to continue raising money for queer youth. Being at the town hall gave me hope. There was so many Asian Pacific Island Islanders there, and the community was overwhelmingly present. And I think the most beautiful part of the town hall uh, came at the very end, uh, or near the end, when the Department of Public Health said, We won't be able to fund a specifically culturally deep program um, serving Asian Pacific Islanders. If I were to say one thing to the overall uh, Asian and Pacific Islander community, I think it would be very simple. I would say that, I would say to everyone that we are deserving. We are all deserving of not being left behind. We are all deserving of not being discriminated against time and time again. And we are deserving to not being oppressed over and over again. Um, and I think that's, that's very powerful to realize that we are all deserving of something.